I'm going to review it, the wiring diagram for a Yamaha GP1200R um, wave runner. And um, this is what the, uh, the overall schematic looks like. Um, on this schematic up here, we have the uh, emission control or um, engine controller CVI unit. Um, over here, this is the uh, the multifunctional display, and then you got a bunch of connectors throughout the uh, the schematic with some temperature sensors for the water temperature and exhaust temperature. You got a voltage regulator here. You got your coil packs um, here, and uh, here's your battery for the. Uh, the jet ski and get going to your starter and a couple fuses and uh, starter relay circuit over here we've got um, for the Yamaha power valve servo motor um, that's kind of interesting um, and up here we have uh, start and stop switches which kind of feed these two uh, connectors um, over here we have a speed sensor um, what else we have over there we've got a, a warning buzzer we've got an oil level sensor and a fuel level sensor and those are going into the uh, multifunctional this meter um, so that's kind of what the um, wiring diagram looks like so let's talk about what um, is on this control unit. This is a 2000-ish uh, controller and um, off to the side there's a voltage regulator here that gets bolted on. Um, I'm going to grab uh, these connectors here, this long wire. Uh, what we have on the super long wire is this is your stop switch. Um, this is um, Let's see, I think that's your start switch that gets connected in. This is your connector that goes to the uh, multifunction meter. So those three connectors are on this one super long cable. So I'll put that to the side. And those uh, correspond to this one, this one, and that one. And then next, we're going to look at, uh, on, on that same um, bundle of wires, if you go up, um, you're going to eventually get to like a triangle looking connector that's going to the, the power valve servo, which is uh, right down there. Um, one thing to note was when you... When you hit the start button um, and then release the start button, you should see the servo starting to move um, back and forth um, once you're initiating um, start voltage to the uh, servo unit. So look for that if you want to see if the servos are working well. If we come to the side of this box here, uh, we have... Uh, this connector here which is the let's see that's the orange and the black with the orange stripe so that's the exhaust temperature sensor this one down the, in the middle that is the uh, the water temperature sensor and then down here this is a connector which is going to the uh, coil pickup for um, charging your battery in your timing and so um, those correspond to this connector here this is your coil pickup for generating um, power to recharge your battery and the uh, the um, alignment of these uh, rotation of the crank crankcase um, and then those are your two other connectors for your temperature sensors and then that was the uh, regulator on the side that I talked about. And then here's your uh, three spark 
wires coming out, which is probably represented over here. Um, let's see here. And then lastly, there's um, one of these hookups goes to the uh, starter and then the other connector goes to the, uh, the battery. So that pretty much covers all the connectors used on this uh, engine control module. So I hope uh, this video could be helpful to you for your Yamaha repairs. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.